as you go through your training, your education, uh, different uh, areas will interest different individuals. And I was fascinated by the inter interactions and interrelationships, the various components of the immune system. Back then, the notion was is that the reason that some unfortunate individuals developed lupus is because they, for whatever reason, had autoreactive B cells, which the rest of us didn't have. Well, we now know very well that we all have those autoreactive B cells, and the problem is not that some of us have them and some of us don't, but rather the problem is that some of us can regulate them and some of us uh, do not. So the whole focus of diseases like lupus really has shifted. Uh, it's no longer an issue of what cells do we or do we not have, but it's how things are regulated or how, rather how are, they, how are they dysregulated. For the past 10 years or so, uh, our primary focus from an investigative standpoint has been a molecule called either BAF or BLISS, known in the literature as both either name. Uh, and uh, BAF is known to be a potent B cell survival factor and substantial body of preclinical work in mice as well as subsequent work in humans uh, has pointed to BAF being a very attractive candidate target in lupus. And indeed, we are on the verge uh, of having the FDA hopefully approve in the very short future uh, a bliss antagonist or a BAF antagonist, belumumab. And I'm hopeful that soon we'll have uh, the first uh, FDA-approved product uh, for lupus in, in over 50 years. If nothing else, it'll prove that lupus, despite uh, the daunting challenges uh, associated with it in terms of clinical trials, the great heterogeneity in the disease, the difficulties in monitoring uh, responses, those daunting challenges can be overcome. And I think, if nothing else, that message will, will come across loud and clear. So whether you're targeting B cells, whether you're targeting T cells, whether you're targeting the innate immune system. Uh, the point is, is that lupus is a disease that can be attacked. Uh, lupus is a disease which hopefully can ultimately be conquered. If you want to break the immune system down into various components, uh, it is a little bit artificial uh, because you can't study B cells absent T cells, and you can't study T cells absent B cells, and you can't study any of those su subsets absent antigen-presenting cells. So, in a sense, everything interrelates to everything else. The areas of interest, there are, there are a lot of exciting areas going on, again, related to B cells, related to T cells, um, and uh, genetic clues that are now only beginning to emerge, uh, perhaps new bio biochemical pathways, um, lots of opportunities. It is my contention that all of us have unique gifts. I have gifts that you don't have, you have gifts that I don't have. Uh, and the way to ultimately get to the pinnacle is to pool our talents and pool our resources. So if we collaborate, then you bring your gifts to the table, I give my gifts to the table, the third party gives, brings his or her gifts to the table, and that way we can, we can climb the mountain and reach the top. Mm -hmm.